Hey everybody, Jen here of Gen X Website Design and Strategy. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom affiliate links with URL mapping in Squarespace. Managing affiliate links can be a headache, especially when your affiliate marketing partners switch agencies and require new links, or if they change their own URL. But with Squarespace's URL mapping feature, you can make this process a breeze. Imagine being able to update all your affiliate links in one go. Sounds great, right? Let's dive in to how you can achieve this and make your life a thousand times easier. First of all, I can't take credit for this brilliant idea. My friend Amari of SQSP Themes had this brilliant idea and I knew immediately that I needed to share it with all of you. So I wanna share the link to his website below this video, just to show my appreciation. Uh, my custom affiliate link, actually. URL mapping allows you to create custom URLs for your affiliate links. Instead of updating links across every blog post, page, or any place your affiliate links appear, you only need to update it once in the URL mapping settings. This way, your custom URL, such as yourwebsite.com, backslash affiliate nickname remains consistent no matter how many times the actual affiliate link changes. Pretty smart, right? The benefits of URL mapping are efficiency, consistency, and time saving. Efficiency because you can update your links in one place instead of tracking down every instance of an affiliate link. Consistency means that you can maintain a clean and professional look with custom URLs and time saving. Save countless hours that would otherwise be spent updating links. That's just not an efficient use of your time. So I recommend that you start with the URL mapping for affiliate links sheet that I created. I'll include a link to get that below this video. Once you confirm in your inbox that you want this awesome sheet that will make your life easier, you'll be able to make a copy of this sheet. And yes, this does put you on my email list. Thank you very much. If you prefer to do it the hard way, I'll include a link to the Squarespace page that talks all about URL mapping and you can figure it out yourself. So let me show you how it works. Okay, you guys are gonna love this. First, you're gonna have to make a copy of the affiliate link Google sheet that I created. You're gonna do that over here and click get the affiliate link sheet. And it says success, head on over to your email to get the sheet. And if you don't see it in the next few minutes, check your spam folder. Okay, awesome, here it is. So in order to get your affiliate link sheet, all you have to do is click the button and make a copy. Great. And of course you can rename this to whatever you want. This is how you use the sheet. For every affiliate link, you're going to create a nickname, something that makes sense to you. And you're gonna put that right here. And I'm going to put SQSP and a link to SQSP themes affiliate link. Then I'm going to put my affiliate link right here. Amari uses Send Owl as his affiliate link manager, and this is my account. So I can create a link for all these different products, but right now I'm just going to link to the homepage. So I'm gonna select copy link. I'm coming back over to my Google sheet and I'm going to paste the link right here. Now I'm gonna select this cell and I'm going to copy and paste this into URL mapping. So I'm just gonna copy it and I'm gonna come over to my demo website and show you where to put this. You're gonna go over to settings, developer tools, URL mapping and paste it right here and select save. That is it. So I have already done this on my website. Now, when I go up to the browser and I type in genxwebdesign.com backslash SQSP and select turn, it brings me right over to my affiliate link page for SQSP things. Now, the beauty of this is that if Omari decides to use a different affiliate link manager, as affiliates often do, I don't have to find every single place where I've shared this affiliate link. All I have to do is share it in this document 
copy the new URL mapping and replace it right here. I would just get rid of this and replace it with the new mapping and that's it. I hope you guys found this helpful, and if you did, please give this video a like, consider subscribing to my channel, maybe share this with someone who you think could use some help with this, and remember that it's your website's job to attract and engage your target audience. And to learn more about how to do that, head on over to my website where I share lots of free tips and strategies for attracting and engaging your target audience to your Squarespace website.